Are you a niche fragrance enthusiast like me? If you are, you probably want to know what are the best niche fragrance houses that produce the most beautiful fragrances that keep you smelling amazing? Hi my lovely people, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Thank you for stopping by and whether you are new or have been watching my channel for a while but have not subscribed, now's the time to do it more than ever you guys. I'm trying to get to that 10,000 number. Get me there by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it for all notifications so we will never miss any of my videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I'm posting some really fun content. So if you've been watching me for any length of time and following me on TikTok and Instagram, you know that I have over 400 perfumes in my collection. I know, it's nuts. I'm obviously a fragrance enthusiast to say the least. In my experience of purchasing fragrances and testing them, sniffing them for years and years and years, I have found certain fragrance houses to make the best fragrances that make me smell the most amazing. So there are certain fragrance houses that consistently produce, consistently come out with amazing, amazing fragrances that not only smell good, have a great composition, but also perform so, so well, whether it's a warm weather or cold weather fragrance, that it's, you know, really a good bang for your buck, so to speak. And these are fragrances that make me feel a certain kind of way, make me feel elevated in some way, whether it's making me feel sexy or making me feel confident or whatever it is, it just lifts up my spirit and make me feel much better. This video, I'm not gonna be, it's not gonna be the same style as other videos. I'm not really going to talk about each individual fragrance. I'm rather going to just share what I have from each fragrance house and talk to you about what's special about the fragrance house and maybe tell you a little bit of, about the fragrances themselves, but I'm not gonna get into notes and accords and all that stuff because I do that all the time on my channel you guys okay can you see all these right here yeah they are from my favorite top fragrance house that I absolutely adore something about their fragrances speak to me it's a personal thing but also this is a fragrance house that's highly reputed and make some of the best fragrances in the world and it's not a secret and yes they happen to be my favorite fragrance house I, I am forced to put it give it a number but really this one and Mikolaf are kind of shoulder to shoulder for me but this one I'm gonna say this is you know number one because I have the most amount of fragrances from them and Mikolaf is a close tie right there this is of course Killian Killian is my number one favorite fragrance house in the whole world, you know, and Mem Mikolaf is a very close tie. I have, what is it, like 20 perfumes from them. These are just, I actually left some upstairs. I have even more, if you can believe that, but I brought a lot of them down here. And of course, you guys have been hearing me rave about my favorite number one perfume from even Killian which makes this my number one perfume period. So it's of course Killian Rose Oud. I have Killian Rose Oud from them. them. This is the most gorgeous, sexy, third date kind of fragrance. It's got that rose oud, but it's not really a rosy or oody fragrance. It's well balanced with that cypress oil, which is a sexy herbal note. It's got some leather. It's Ah, oh, so beautiful. You guys know I've been raving about this. And of course, this is my latest purchase from them. This is my Christmas present for myself. This is a kiss from a rose. This is the most beautiful spring summer scent. It's such a light, fresh rose, whereas this one is a sultry, deep, herbal kind of a rose fragrance with that leather, whereas this one is very 
musky and rose and musk, you know, and this does have a little hint of cypress oil in here too, which gave it a little bit of that oomph, you know, like beautiful spring summer scent, absolutely gorgeous. Every time I look at this fragrance and that song plays in my head by Seal, you know the song. So yeah, it's absolutely, these are such feminine, such alluring fragrances, you guys. One is for cold weather, one's for warm weather. Stunning. I never realized I was that big of a rose fan, which I never really thought I was. Not that I gravitate that much towards rose fragrances, but those two are very like exceptional. And then I have Rolling in Love from them. This is that milky, lactonic -y almond fragrance. So good. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Mm, so good, these fragrances, you guys. I love the red bottles the most. So they come in white, red, blue, and black. So yeah, my favorite is the red. And then I have our original loves from the house. This is, you know, Love Don't Be Shy and this is Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. These are still some of my oh, beautiful uh, orange blossom, marshmallow, sweetness from the sugar, you know, the, the honeysuckle and all that. Oh, so beautiful, so feminine, so romantic if you ask me. I tend to wear this around Valentine's Day a lot of the times. And here it's sister, the, the flanker, the extreme, the love don't be shy extreme. Oh, so beautiful. It's like that one, only much heightened, much more grown up, more leans towards sexy almost. That one is playful, kind of young, girly. This one is like the more serious, you know, woman who knows what she's doing. It's almost the same notes with the heightened rose note, which I love. I guess I do love rose. Here is Forbidden Games. This is a gorgeous fruity fragrance with some little bit of honey. Oh, so beautiful, great for summertime. I absolutely love it. And then I have here Playing With The Devil, another fruity, gorgeous, stunning mm, summertime scent. So, 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 so attractive, these scents, you guys. You have got to check out this fragrance house. And then we have here the Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. Now this one, mm, that Osmanthus uh, fragrance with that, you know, that very unique scent about this that's got the little bit of apricot vibes from the Osmanthus with a little bit of that leather underpinning, you know, because Osmanthus tends, tends to have that. You guys know the deal about this one. Now the Good Girl Gone Bad, the original, I'm... I love like this more than that. So I, I'm actually glad I waited and bought the Extreme because this one, you know, is much better than the original. The original isn't bad, it isn't bad, it's very unique, it's beautiful. But there's something in there that, you know, kind of like a, a note that ha gives me a little bit of like that, I don't know, like a, a weird thing in that original. So whatever that original has, this doesn't have because this has milk, that lactonic milk kind of smooths it and makes it smell super nice. So it allows me to enjoy that original DNA of the Good Girl Gone Bad only without whatever that was bothering me. I, I really think it was a mixture of the osmanthus with some sort of either green or herbal note that didn't quite work together. I don't know, it could be Narcissus too. The narcissus being too strong. But anyway, this one has that milky lactonic thing going on that smooths it out. I love it. Then we have the uh, Liaison Dangerous. This one is the Hot Girl Summer Scent. This is very fruity, very upbeat, very sexy, but in a very playful way. Very kind of a fruity, fantastic scent. Perfect for hot weather for summertime. Gosh, I love these perfumes. Then we have Voulez Vous Coucher Avec Moi. You guys, this one is another beautiful summer scent. This is also fruity, but in a different way, fruity, fruity floral, different way from Playing With The Devil or Liaison Dangerous. It just, it's in a different kind of way. Beautiful, I mean, I don't know. Even though they're in that same category, like those three of them, 
Each of them is different. That's what I love about Killian. Even if they made three fruity fragrances, each tend to be different and unique and fantastic. And even if they, if they did something that's like a very popular category, like fruity floral, they know how to make it so unique, make it grown up. I know some fragrance houses come up with these like fruity kind of fragrances and they end up smelling like Bath and Body Works body sprays or Victoria's Secret body sprays, but not Killian, you guys. Now that's the difference between a super uh, sophisticated seasoned fragrance house as opposed to a fragrance house that just isn't seasoned, you know what I mean? And then this one is another, again, fantastic scent that I absolutely love from Killian. This is one of my top favorites. This is Woman in Gold. This is the Aldahedic fragrance with loads of vanilla. Smells like a refined woman, you guys. Oh, so sm rich smelling, very, very good. And then I have Moonlight in Heaven. Ooh, this one is fantastic too. This one is that sort of like the fruity scents with a little bit of, there's a rice note in here that's kind of delicious. Again, a summertime scent. This comes in the blue bottle. And of course we have the Liquors Collection, Angel's Share. I don't need to talk about this one. This is that, you know, cognac, brandy from the liquors collection that smells very boozy it's the vanilla with the booze in the in the tonka bean all the good goodness you guys know and love that fragrance and then of course we have the apple brandy this one as you know again liquor they got the the booze and then the apple the you know the is it kunyako brandy that's in here i forget but yeah, it's from the Liquors collection. I love the bottles that Killian came up with for that collection. And then of course this collection, the more affordable collection that they just changed the bottles to to make it look like the, the exclusive collection over there, the Privé line or what do you call it? I forget the name, but yeah, the, the square bottles now. This one is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. Of course, the short name is Princess. This one is marshmallow kind of um, fragrance with a little bit of, I think, tea note in here. It's beautiful. It's got like a bit of a, I don't know, some kind of boozy vibe, actually. Now, even the most top, top, tip top, tip top, tip top, tip top fragrance house in the whole wide world not every last single fragrance will you like or work for you. And that happened to me with Killian, but it's very rare. And obviously I bought what the whole Killian house here and only two fragrances did not work for me. Um, these two, you know, are masculine leaning. That's the only reason, not because they aren't great scents. They're just a little too masculine leaning for my taste. And now this one is a black phantom. This one is a very cool. Oh, it's actually delicious. Kind of makes your mouth water. This is such a beautiful gourmet with like very dark, deep notes in it. Loads of gourmet notes. I'm not going to go over all of it. It even has chocolate. So, so delicious. But there again, it, it leans a little bit. It's a little bit too heavy and it leans a little bit masculine for my taste. That to black is the other one that's like it. Again, this one is like super heavy, 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 thick gourmet fragrance. It's got like honey, tobacco, cherry, raspberry, tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, name it. There's tons and tons of notes in here. This one didn't work for me because of that. I can smell the tobacco note and sometimes the tobacco note works for me, but a lot of times, depending on what the other notes are, it doesn't work for me. So it leans too masculine for my taste. So those two are the only two, even from my tip top, tip top number one fragrance house that didn't work for me. On Killian's website, it says Killian Hennessy, you know, is the founder of, of course, Killian. That's what's, what the house is named after. So it says there it that Killian Hennessy continues to create this uh, unexpected uh, products that embodies the ultimate sophistication and timeless luxury. And I think it's absolutely accurate right there. That's Killian House for you right there. Killian Hennessy, you know, the Hennessy, they make all these like liquors and spirits, you know, Hennessy you know, Hennessy liquors and spirits, you guys know. So he was born into like France's most um, luxurious dynasties of fine liquors, right? And then he started this fragrance house and it kind of like, 
I don't know, I think took inspiration from it. He has a lot of fragrances actually inspired by the liquors, you know, like in the liquors collection. It's obviously very, very inspired by the liquors, you know, from their origins. There's something rebellious about Killian, the fragrance house, kind of rule breaking nature about the Killian fragrance house, which is what I really like, which is when you get all that innovation, you guys, you know, like their fragrances are truly remarkable, standout kind of fragrances. And that's what I really love about the Killian Fragrance House. Of course you knew what was next. It's of course M. Mikulaf. Do you see the amount of M. Mikulaf fragrances I have? You guys, I might have surpassed Killian Fragrances with the M. Mikulaf. I'm looking down here and I'm thinking, I've got more than 20 here. I have a ton from M. Mikulaf. Now, listen you guys. Killian is my, one of my top fragrance houses. It's like my top two, this and M. Mikulaf. Nobody's ever sent Killian fragrances. Killian doesn't send fragrances to, to uh, YouTube creators. But I talk to you about how much I love Killian fragrances all the time. You guys, I don't talk about a fragrance or a fragrance house because they send me stuff, okay? <laughs> Killian hasn't sent me a thing ever. And yet I talk to you guys about how much I love Killian fragrances all the time. So you have to know that when I talk about Imicola fragrances, it's because I die hard love this brand. And yes, they have sent me some fragrances, but I've bought a lot of this here myself as well. This is the most stunning fragrance house I actually my first purchase from this fragrance house was this beauty right here. Boy, I smelled this and I never looked back. This is Mont Parfum Cristal, oh my gosh. Un Unfortunately, it's been discontinued. I don't know, and make a laugh, why? Um, I'm thinking they're trying to bring it back, you guys. I really hope so, because I've, I've got this and four backups. Yeah, I'm that crazy. I have two or th is it two or three full size and one or two of the small 30 mil. So I've got, yeah, I've got backups. But when I run out of my backups, I'm out, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is like my third bottle, I want to say. So this is the most beautiful, gorgeous gourmet, you guys. This has got caramel. Is it toffee? Something like that. This has got rose and vanilla, loads of vanilla. It's so so divine it's such a delicious and by the way this will you you wear this and people will smell you if you're in a room they'll smell you out in the hallway or if you're in the hallway they will smell you from the they'll be able to smell you from the the rooms by the way did I talk about what the compliment getters are shoot I forgot to talk to you about compliment getters from that brand Killian I'm gonna pause it here so Rose Oud get so many compliments. Love Don't Be Shy and Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, Woman in Gold, uh, A Kiss from a Rose. I haven't been able to wear it yet out too many times. I just bought it. So I'm thinking that will be a compliment getter too. And yeah, Liaison Dangerous. I mean, a lot of them are compliment getters. Now, speaking of which, which is what reminded me, this right here is a compliment getter and people can smell you miles away. So good. And then in the same bottle design, we have the Mont Parfum. This is the original Mont Parfum. This one is a also gourmet. This has caramel too, but this has a bit of that patchouli and you know how patchouli complements those delicious gourmet notes. Oh my gosh, you guys, so good. And this one is the Mont Parfum um, Pearl. Uh, this is such a pretty scent with that sort of like the rose and the, is it the Patalia or Peony? It's something very pretty delicate florals. It's absolutely feminine and gorgeous. These are, by the way, from their feminine line, as you can tell by the by the bottle. Now, that's the old bottle design, however. They have revamped and they have like a new bottle design. It's like these right here. So, by the way, my other top, one of my top favorites is Watch, of course. This is the old bottle, which I'm still kind of savoring, you guys. I don't want to spray it. I kind of want to keep it as a collector's item almost and here is the new so i bought this myself and then Mikulov sent me this one this is the new legends collection they this came in a let in their legends collection this is the new watch <sighs> so good this is such a gorgeous stunning white yellow florals with lots of other florals too it's such a tropical gorgeous fragrance with 
loads of vanilla absolutely divine and then of course we have other things other ones from their legends collection gardenia this is a obviously a beautiful gardenia scent it's one of the most i would say the most beautiful smelling gardenia scent ever oh my gosh i'm yet to smell the 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 chanel gardenia you guys um unless that one beats this this is the best one i've ever smelled Oh, so good. This is also from the Legends Collection. Absolutely beautiful. There are other white florals in here too. And then we have the 20 Years. This one is a fruity kind of floral scent with that Davana note, which makes it kind of sexy. So beautiful. And then um, Note Vene here is their gorgeous, stunning, stunning vanilla scent. You guys, this one is such a beautiful, boozy, creamy vanilla. And guess what? They just released Note Vene Nectar. So this Nectar version is even more delicious. It's like Note Vene on, I don't want to say steroids. It's not like offensive or anything. It's like Note Vene only times 10. It's creamier. It's, my mouth is watering. It's creamier. It's boozier. It's just absolutely fantastic. It smells so so good if you ask me which one of these two you should get i would say get the nectar i mean this is gorgeous too i would say get both but if you want to choose one get the nectar because it's like no tiffany only even like 10 times but no tiffany there's something beautiful about no tiffany too you guys it's very like beautiful vanilla now then you have ananda oh you guys this is such a ethereal goddess-like scent okay this smells like a very beautiful goddess in like this white dress with long wavy dark hair down to the ground you know emerging from a waterfall after bathing in it it's kind of like what this smells like it's so good it smells like a goddess you know like a clean fresh fragrance but in a very feminine ethereal way and here's the nectar version of it so it's like that only intense right this, these are the own tones versions and the nectars are like the intense uh versions this right here ylang in gold one of their top sellers one of their most popular oh gosh this one is that gorgeous tropical vanilla you guys i took this to hawaii when i went there i wore it on the beach even it was so stunning and the, here's the nectar again the more int intense version I feel like the nectar has that vanilla even more intensified. Oh, the ylang ylang in here is so stunning. Such a beautiful tropical vanilla is how I like to talk about it. And by the way, how many ylang and golds do I have? So I bought this myself and then I was sent these. So I have three ylang and golds. I absolutely adore it and I, i'm actually collecting so this is going to be like my collector's item this is the one with that beautiful gold dust in it so i'm an actually i'm actually using these two and then here it is a mikalaf glamour you guys this one is that very sexy sort of like dirty jasmine not dirty jasmine i don't like that expression that's strong jasmine that's not your <laughs> pretty just like pretty girl jasmine no this is like the more sexy jasmine this has like that alien moogler vibes it's absolutely bewitching it's a bewitching white floral scent with that stunning jasmine in it then this is their latest one. Oh my goodness this is sole passion this is the most delicious juicy bursting juicy fruity fragrance you guys this has that wild strawberries and the pomegranate so juicy it's like squeezing that fruit and just juice bursting out Oh, this I cannot wait for spring and summer to come to wear this because this I got this like at the end of fall almost like it wasn't the right time to wear it I wore it out of desperation just to like test it or you know enjoy it but really the time for this is coming up here soon I cannot wait and then I have here royal Mosca. oh my gosh oh my goodness this one is a beautiful stunning musky woody scent that's absolutely stunning one of my subbies told me that she uh, got the nectar version of the muska and it smells like a, like a like the top of a baby newborn baby's head she's absolutely right you know that musk it smells absolutely gorgeous so like i said every fragrance brand even if it was your tip top tip top tip top like die hard love 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 
there's gonna be something that doesn't work for you. Now, for me, it was this one from M. McLaugh. This is M. McLaugh Mont Parfait Gold. This one is got like that frankincense kind of vibe to it, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now, again, don't get me wrong, just like the Killian 2, that didn't work for me. This is a great fragrance. This will work on so many people, just not me, because I'm not a huge fan of a frankincense dominant fragrance. This is very incensey, but frankincense incensey, you know, not like myrrh or, you know, like the oriental kind of incense. This is more of a frankincense kind of incensey. So that's the only one that didn't work for me. Now, to tell you a little bit about the M. McLaugh house, you guys, I will tell you, I am so lucky to have had the pleasure to work with such a wonderful fragrance house. It's a family business that would, you know, that was started. And, and, and you can tell they, they are very nice people. I have one of the best fragrance houses I've ever, ever worked with really nice people very genuine and you will notice when you order from their website you guys you they throw in such generous freebies like you get like 30 mil of this or 30 mil of that and huge deluxe size uh, travel sprays i get like two of those or a 30 mil of something or I mean, you get such amazing, you guys keep telling me, you know, some of you talk to me and you, you leave me comments saying, oh my gosh, you know, ordered from Mimic Life, I got all these freebies, free goodies, they are so generous, it's kind of unbelievable. And have you seen their advent calendar? You guys, this is their advent calendar from last Christmas. Tell me something. I mean, does this not look fantastic? Beautiful advent calendar with 24 fragrances. In all these little drawers, you get 24 big, like, deluxe size sprays. And then here in the middle, you get a 30 mil of their latest Sole Passion right there I showed you. And this is, like, not expensive. I mean, and, and if you apply my, I have a discount code down in the description box, it's even better of a price. It was like an unbelievable deal. And so many of you bought this for yourself or your family and friends and told me like what a great day it was. I mean I love this perfume house. Not only are their fragrances so captivating, make me feel a certain kind of way, but that's such a nice, like it's so, they're so nice you guys. So Emikalaf was founded in 1996. They've been around for a very long time. Of course, it was founded by Martin Mikolaf and Joffrey Nedgeman. So they, th that's how the, the company started. And it's kind of, uh, you know, centered around this art and perfume kind of concept. Like it, everything they make it so, so artful, like it's just beautiful fragrances. There's something about a Mikolaf DNA that is indescribable. I absolutely love it. Every time I buy a fragrance from them, it makes me feel like a, woman dropped from heaven. Yeah, I just realized I left two more of them upstairs. Um, I forgot to bring that down. The Fleur, which one is it? Like that one I forgot to show you. That one smells, makes me feel like a beautiful angel, okay? You guys know this was coming. Of course, Messa Crivelli is an amazing fragrance house. A lot of their fragrances have orpor ingredients. They are the top, top, top high quality ingredients. They like find the rarest and most high quality ingredients or poor ingredients. And that's what they put in their fragrances. And you can tell, you can tell how amazing they are. You guys know I've been raving, raving about Ibiscus Maja. This one, you guys, is the most delicious, beautiful, gorgeous, tropical smelling hibiscus fragrance with a big dose of vanilla but hibiscus you guys is a fantasy note there's no scent to the hibiscus flower so they you know unless you smell the nectar which has a slight scent but you know if if hibiscus had a scent and that was intensified that's what this smells like and uh, I think they got that from rose and spearmint oh Absolutely stunning with that heavy dose of vanilla, so good. And then I have Ombre Chromatique, oh, the most beautiful incense smell. This is like more of an oriental, beautiful incense, so pretty. Oh, I love this fragrance. It's very intense, by the way. So if you, this fragrance house make the most intense, intensely fragrant 
fragrances. Very intense smell. I mean, you you will be smelled. <laughs> you know, like you'll be heard. You'll be smelled. Like you, people know will know your arrival. People will know you're there. You know, so that's what Maison Crivelli is. I would love to talk more about the fragrance house. Have a lot more information on it, but I gotta keep the video short, you guys. So moving on, you guys know my love affair with um, MFK Maison Francisca Gian. Oh, make some of the best fragrances in the world. You guys know everybody raves and loves our Baccarat Rouge 540 and the Extrait. I need no to do no introduction here. This is that really unique fragrance. There are now what 4,000 dupes made for this fragrance. It's that popular. This smells very up class, refined, very smells like money, like I like to say. This has that ambergris, which gives that sort of slight marine vibe with the very woody nuance. This has uh, that little bit of conifer from the fur, you know. Uh, and it's got this sort of sweetness about it that's not too sweet. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then, of course, the intense version of it. This one is the Extrait. This one is a little sweeter and is uh, is many people's actually favorite. Some some people prefer the original over the this. I, I like them both so much, you guys. My God, I could get to tell you. I wore this the other day and I was wearing a coat, my clothes like weeks after my coat still smells like it and my clothes still you know were smelling like it until i put to wash my, my wool coat still smells like it i'm telling you very intense it does play houdini sometimes disappear or whatever some people go a little anosmic to bakwa rouge but trust me other people can smell you and here is oud satin mood you guys know what this is this is the most black magic woman baddie or you know, femme fatale kind of smelling fragrance, very mysterious. This has got that big, beautiful rose with that big dose of vanilla and the oud makes it mysterious and the violet adds a little sophistication. Oh, so good. Then you guys have Grand Soir. You guys know this is the amber fragrance, amber vanilla, large doses of amber and vanilla, absolutely beautiful. Unisex fragrance, that one. I would say Wood, wood Sudden Mood leans feminine. Bakra Rouge, unisex. Again, they, they, they're all unisex, however, you know, each to your own. It doesn't matter what. If it smells good on you, it smells good on you. And this one is Maison uh, Francisca John's Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is the most beautiful, delicate vanilla fragrance ever. It's got a little bit of juniper berry that makes it interesting, but beautiful vanilla love 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 it and then of course my new favorite from the house this is 724 this is the most interesting gorgeous clean fresh crisp fragrance you will ever find i'm not usually even that big of a fan of clean fresh fragrance but you guys this one really is so so good this is such an alluring clean fresh fragrance this has that aldehydes with that jasmine Ooh, so good, you've got to try that one. So Maison Francis Kajan Fragrance House was founded in 2009 when MFK, Maison Francis Kajan, met with uh, Mark Chaya, a former Ernst & Young associate. So after the meeting, this company was founded and they together, they created this fragrance house and of course the nose behind the fragrances is MFK. And you guys, Maison Francis Kajan, as you know, is a very very acclaimed performer mfk has a remarkable talent you guys i mean you have smelled his fragrances his fragrances have this sort of like timeless sophistication then of course i have my beloved next fragrance house that i am absolutely in love with do you see how many i have here of course it's surge off you can tell by the caps here the unique caps okay um i'll tell you about the comp uh, the fragrance house here in a minute but i have to talk about the perfumes you guys know this is my absolute favorite from this house right this is italica this is by far the most unique and groundbreaking and absolutely fantastic gourmet fragrance i've ever ever smelled this is that it makes me smell edible okay my husband wants to take a bite out of me every time I wear this. 
This is that gorgeous almond cookie, almond sugar cookie dipped in milk scent. This has almond, this has that vanilla, this has that that lactonic, the milk um, accord in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, the uh, lactonic accord, absolutely gorgeous. It smells like, again, almond cookie, sugar cookie dipped in milk, but only perfume sexy version, if you can imagine that. Ivory Root, again, stunning fragrance. I'm not gonna, running out of time, and I'm not gonna stay here. It's a beautiful, spine, spicy kind of vanilla smelling fragrance that I absolutely love. You know, Muse, I'm in love with Muse. This is that plummy, oh, so intense. By the way, this is very potent, okay? Only cold weather appropriate. This is that plummy white floral with that very plummy deep herbal sexiness with that Divana note um, in here, absolutely stunning. And then we have Lira here, of course, oh my lord. Lira is the gorgeous caramel lemon mer meringue pie smelling gorgeousness. This is such a beautiful gourmet as well. And then we have Dama Bianca, which is the most delicate, ethereal, beautiful, slightly vanilla-y floral fragrance that's very feminine, you guys. This one is a, again, by the way, did I tell you about the uh, Mikolov compliment getters? They all are, okay? What can I say? They, they pretty much all are. I didn't, don't want to go one by one. Almost every Mikolov fragrance I wear, I get compliments. All right, same with Zerjov. Same with Killian. I really don't need to say that particularly. All of these are compliment getters, okay? So this one is a compliment getter. This one, one of my subbies told me that one time she was wearing this and some guy chased her down around some shopping complex. She was, she was in, yeah, and I get a lot of compliments too. My husband loves it. This one is the Dolce Amalfi. This one's very unique. This has that quince note in here. It's kind of fruity and spicy with the cardamom note. It's delicious and very unique. And then we have the gorgeous feminine uh, Gran Bala. This one is more of a kind of a girly smelling fragrance. It's kind of like what do you call that uh, brand? Now I forget the name. Um, it's like that only like the grown up, you know, more sophisticated version of it. I'll put it up here if I can think of it. And then we have this one, the Overture, you guys. This one is that myrrh, deep myrrh kind of incense smoky gorgeousness. Very much a cold weather fragrance. So this, you guys, is Golden Dollar. This is a very beautiful, kind of like spicy coffee fragrance. Lot, some people say it smells like Turkish coffee or you know, like something like that. It's like the perfume version of it. It's like an intense coffee fragrance. And this one, of course, you know what this is. This is Cruz del Sur 2. This is the most beautiful fruity fragrance. It's like a fruit smoothie or a fruit cocktail, but only like in the most delicious way, you guys. And it's an amazing summer scent. I love this in the summertime. It really puts me in that summertime mood, like by the poolside, holding a drink, that vibe. Then this one is Bouquet Ideal. This is the perfect like holiday scent. I put that in my holiday scents video. I will link it up here and down in the description box. This is like a vanilla scent. It's a spicy vanilla, but not like too spicy. And it has like a papyrus note that gives it this beautiful woody nuance to it. And it's really like the perfect Christmas fragrance. I don't know why, but it is. It really puts me in the holiday mood. So the Serge Off brand was founded by Sergio Momo with like the goal of like blending the most, you know, luxurious raw materials into like this different kind of worldly experiences, like worldly uh, sense, you know, to complement the most affluent, sort of global lifestyles, that sort of brand. They really make some of the most unique, I gotta say, fragrances ever, really. They really have this special sort of surge of DNA that they just really come up with very, very unique, very standout kind of fragrances, as you all know if you own any kind of a surge of fragrance. Okay. So that's it, you guys. Those are the top five fragrance houses that I absolutely adore and I have a lot of fragrances from. I actually have more. I wanted to make it my top seven 
fragrance houses but I just didn't want this video to be like a mile long already it was gonna be long because of the, oh, the amount of fragrances I have from these houses just let me know if you want me to do any kind of like house review on any of these brands I've already done a house review on Killian and M. Mikulov because they're my top two check those videos out I will link them up here and down in the description box but let me know if you want me to do like a house review on the other ones that I mentioned. Please leave me a comment down in the comment section sharing your thoughts about these fragrance houses. What are your experiences with them and the fragrances of course. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell for all notifications and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you in my next video.